obvious blood. Call. Call. Raise to eight fifty. Nine hundred and four in the live chat. Raised to eight fifty from high with Queen Ten suited. James, I don't know about Lodge Houston, but I know that Houston's not that far away. So you better make it on over here to Round Rock for the LCS. No excuses. Play cards like a champion. And we're going multi-way here. It's high. Three bets to 850. Trying to thin down that field. Ludo with the best hand. Gets out of the way. Folds his ace jack. Peter makes call. the call with jack nine suited. Call. Adam comes along. Pots of brewing. King Kai won't be able to resist this. It's only 600 more. Of course he calls. Eric Chen said ace 10 should three better fold. I have to say I agree. Ace 10, not the kind of hand you want to be calling knowing that it's going to be a five, four or five way pot. Not exactly one of those premium multi-way hands. What does a premium multi-way hand look like to you, Skull? Aces. That's, a <laughs> That's just a premium hand in all spots. If I were to answer, I would say suited, eight, eight, seven connected, diamonds. or kind of nut suits, like an ace five suited. That would make a little bit more sense. Right. Ace 10 off, not what you want in a multi-way pot. Yeah, never know, quite really know where you're at. Get yourself into a lot of trouble. So absolutely. I and as we you. say that, we see him hit the best hand on the turn. So what do we know? You get lucky from time to time in this game. It's possible. Hearts there, still dangerous. Also a straight draw for Pierre. And King and Kaya. King Kai. Yeah, so King Kaya's got a sneaky double gutter here, 9 or 5. Big bet from Pierre. 2200 Those banana chips are $1,000 each, folks. Kai looks to be leaning towards... Sticking around here, carving out calling chips. Still players to act. <laughs> and he does indeed make that call. So this pot is ballooning. 8.8 .8 now in the middle. Can't blame him. A lot of good hands out there. Action on the T-1000 with the best hand currently, but... Taking in his time here, deciding what his opponents are holding what type of course of action he wants to take on this river. Does he want to apply pressure now and try and take it down? Likely thinking he doesn't have the best hand, so that would be quite dangerous. Nobody holding a king, and he lays it down, so the best hand goes bye-bye. Yeah, to my mind, that is a good play, though, of course, in this exact instance. He but does, that goes more in aligning hand. into our, uh, our thoughts that we were talking about the ace-10 preflop. That's why you get into sticky spots there. You have the best hand sometimes, but you're currently... You know, you're never quite sure, and you, you end up folding there. So maybe if you thin down the field with a three or four bet preflop, it would be much easier to maneuver a hand such as this. But instead, he folds jack of clubs, and Pierre connects with his jack, although he didn't need it. He does decide to just check with his showdown value. Uh, he was definitely mulling over maybe a, an all-in bluff there. Kai's never checking here with eight high and 9,000 in the middle. Cars out. How much? <laughs> this is like 2300, so it goes for quarter pot or so. 23 on the head. And now Pierre. Gonna be a very tough call for Pierre here. Lot in this pot. Perhaps a little confused why Kai didn't rip it all in. Stack the pot ratio. Only had about 5,000 behind. So could have jammed there. Would've, that would have made a lot of sense with the strong holding. Perhaps trying to disguise. And go for just a little bit of value. Wants to get like a call me type of bet at 2.3. And perhaps Pierre will recognize that. Tricky, tricky bet here. 
Which yeah, it's one of those bluffs that's really, really trying to look like a value bet. To the point where now Pierre's thinking, well, crap, I mean, I can beat a bluff, but would he really bluff for this small? Holding hearts of his own, so unlikely that Kai has hearts as well. That might be in the back of his mind. Yeah, it's kind of hard for Kai to be bluffing. I mean, 8-7 is one hand that comes to mind, but how many others are there really? Kai's range is so wide, though. He could have any two. And could have, like, 5-7, five, 5-3, five, right? Pierre knows that. Pierre knows that, and for this price, you might just have to look him on up. But he's taking his time. Uh, one second. A lengthy hand here. Lots going on in this hand. Pretty interesting stuff. Eric Chen in the chat says Pierre's going to call. Emmanuel Scott says he's going to fold. Who's going to be right? Folding or calling, chat? That's why I say this is tough. And he lays it down. And King Kai wins with eight high. Well played indeed. He's going to drag a roughly 9K pot. And he needed that one. He really did. He must have had a bad And he shows the eight. I like all the fucking nuts. Right, small band, big blind, oh, eat a heel the groans. 